misjudgment and a real chance for Dobie and that's a handball outside the area of which there is no question and I wonder if a red card is on its way it is and the fixture which seems to have a sending off every single time it's played has another Simon Tracy goes well it was a misjudgment by Keith Curl Dobie was through, and I don't think the referee had a decision to make. It was easy for him. Handball, deliberate, sending off. Well, unfortunately, it looks as though Peter Unluff has drawn the shortest of straws. And uh, naturally, Wilco Devot, who is the substitute goalkeeper, will make an early entry into the game. Meanwhile, Neil Warnock is giving instructions to Michael Brown about how they're going to play this now with just the ten out there. Well, it's a game which has had so many sendings off, will be them due to foul play rather than a deliberate handball, that you somehow sense this would be another day when it would occur. Sigurdsson. No Barnes. Nice dummy by Dikio. Johnson's now in the clear, looking for and finding Dobie. Oh, that's a lovely goal. That really is terrifically worked. And just what Sheffield United didn't want, having gone down to ten men so early. A really well-worked goal, this. Great movement. Nice understanding. Good dummy by Dikio. Lovely layoff. And Johnson and Dobie combine. And that is sweet. Lovely finish. Well worked goal. 18th minute of the game. And West Bromwich Albion, who don't concede many goals, are already one up against 10 men. The referee is telling Neil Warnock that he's getting a little bit too involved in today's fixture. To be honest, Neil Warnock likes to get involved in every fixture. Gets a leader. Lost control. Back to Brown. Yudelka, what a chance! Oh, he put it wide. There was no offside. The West Bromwich Albion defenders all looked towards the assistant on the far side. The flag wasn't raised. And Yudelka, who has never scored for Sheffield United, has probably never had a better opportunity of doing so. Johnson. Now Clement, Taylor on the far side, away by Page, Doby gathering up and uh, Ullenbeek settling for the corner. Barnes with a corner, oh, he's gone for the short one, and McInnes, oh, that is just outstanding from the West Bromwich Albion captain. Forget 1 0. Gary Megson wants more than that, and his captain's obliged. Quick thinking by Barlis, but that was only part of that routine. The second part was just outstanding from Derek McInnes. Oh, that's a special goal. decided that it's time for changes in personnel. Georges Santos and Patrick Sufo are the last two substitutions available. Georges Santos introduced, and uh, interestingly, the little bit of history between he and Andy Johnson of West Bromwich Albion, uh, who was... Uh, and a little collision, accidental though it was with Johnson, while Johnson was playing for Nottingham Forest. And Santos ended up with a broken eye socket that put him out of the back end of last season. And this will be the first time that he and Johnson have met since. So, uh, as I say, it was an accidental clash, but it'll be interesting to see what that first challenge is like. Santos and Johnson now do collide, and it was a hefty challenge, and I had been telling you about that little uh, running battle that uh, may be in the mind of Georges.
George Santos, and would you believe it, George Santos has been sent off. Well, I was telling you of the history between those two. As I say, it was an accidental clash last year between Johnson and Santos, but Santos came in and caught Johnson. And the referee has sent him from the field of play. He could only have been on the field for a minute, and Santos is straight down the tunnel again. And Santos has come on the field and his first challenge, well, it could be getting worse. It could be getting worse. Tempers afraid, players are losing it, Sufo is furious. And has the referee sent off Patrick Sufo? It looked as though he's gone as well now. Would you believe it? Two substitutes brought on have just been sent off within, what, 90 seconds of entering the field. Well, that is the first, I'm sure, in the history of the game of football. Two substitutes have come onto the field, Sufo and Santos, and their first contributions are to be sent off from the field. And Sheffield United are down to eight men. Well, the referee now has a real battle on his hands to wrestle control of this game. McInnes has obviously received a crack on the side of his face and Sufo I think has put the head in, in right in front of the referee's view there's Pesky Salido and now Brown oh and now Michael Brown has wrestled McInnes to the floor and he's already been booked Michael Brown and Michael Brown is being called over and he well the referee's just given him a warning and I I have to say, in the circumstances, that's probably the right decision, but it was a very thin tightrope that Michael Brown's been uh, walking across. Jordao, meanwhile, is coming on for Johnson. Johnson getting a huge chorus of boos from the home fans, rapturous applause from the visiting fans. Everyone in both camps is well aware of the history between Johnson and Santos. Clement. McInnes again, losing out to Brown. And Curl, oh, and Curl's gone in heavily, and McInnes is up off the floor, and, and now there are all sorts of players getting involved, and this game is just going to be one that is remembered for all the wrong reasons. And Keith Curl is going towards the referee for a ticking off. And what's the colour of this card? Yellow. And brown and Curl, and well, it wasn't pretty, was it? It's been happening all over the place, both on and off the field today. Away by McInnes, no offside. Doby now trying to get round Curl. There are three targets for Doby to aim for, and Doby wins the corner. Decent corner, and more at the far post, and it's in from Doby, and it's 3-0, and the eight men, I guess, inevitably were going to concede, and they have done. Well, they were all over the place, and I guess you uh, understand why that's the case, and Doby had a simple finish on the line, once more had uh, squared it. Doby and Curl. Curl getting the better of Doby. Doby on a hat trick, of course. Curl will be better advised to steer clear of any more trouble. He's on a booking. Dikio's coming across to be peacemaker. And 38 year old Keith Curl, who's seen it, done it, you would think would know better than to try and get involved on a day like today. Michael Brown, meanwhile, has come off the field. 
And at the moment, Sheffield United have six outfield players. Michael Brown came off and all the substitutes had been used and Neil Warnock now has seven players out there. Brown must have picked up an injury. Here's Barlis, meanwhile, looking to take advantage. To Jaffa, who, to say the very least, doesn't have much support when he gets the ball, losing out. And now Sheffield United have another man down in agony. Looks like Ullathorne is in a heap. And if he can't continue... Well, one wonders if the game can even complete. And it looks as though Rob Ollathorne is hobbling off as well. And by my reckoning, there are too few players on the Sheffield United team for the game to complete. And referee Eddie Walsenholm, on seeing Rob Ollathorne hobble from the field, has been forced to call the game off, or abandon it at least.